Old school sake is brewed from rice in wooden casks, ceremoniously smashed open, and then it's put into bottles. If sake is new to you, Ginjo and Dai Ginjo are great to start with. They're light flavor and ideal for this recipe. Takubetsu is another premium variety that may have stronger flavors. And Nagori means it's coarsely filtered, so a little cloudy. Hello and welcome to Cooking Plus Alcohol. I'm Nat and today we're going to be making sake martini salmon. It's salmon marinated in... You are F saying M? twice. Nope, uh, sake and salmon are the same word. Okay, good, good. Thank you, M. So, sake in Japanese means both sake, the alcohol, and it also means salmon. So, this is technically uh, sake martini sake. <laughs> so, why sake martini? Because we are actually going to be putting the uh, this Atlantic, uh, Atlantic salmon into a sake martini, marinating it nicely in the fridge before we cook it. But let's jump into that right now. For this recipe, I'm using Momokawa sake from Oregon, but you can use any light flavored sake that tastes good to you. I'm also using Hendrix gin just because I like the taste. I'm using Atlantic salmon. Use any good salmon that has been previously frozen and has been scaled. And it should have little or no odor. If the fish smells bad before you cook it, it'll smell bad after you cook it. When marinating, remove as much air as you can from the bag. And maybe put the bag in a bowl because, like half the time, my bags leak. And a few times a day, turn the bag over and make sure it's not leaking and doesn't have too many bubbles. To top off our salmon, we're going to cut up some parsley and we're going to preheat the oven. You want to make sure it's nice and hot before you get started. Now frying the onions. This is actually more time than almost all the rest to be combined, just the effort of frying up the onions. But you want to make sure they're nice and sweet and soft and caramelized. Can't tell you how much better it is with that than just by itself. It's a wonderful addition. Nice and sweet, and keep scraping that bottom there. The glaze is really fast, just the three ingredients. You got brown sugar, miso, and the same amount of the leftover marinade of the sake and the gin. I'm gonna mix that up. And then we're gonna put that on our salmon. You gotta dry the salmon first, make sure all the glaze doesn't slide off. Pat it dry. And just a little bit everywhere, just to protect it from the heat of the oven. Now put that temperature probe. This is so important. Make sure it's in the thickest part of the fish. I don't know how I cooked fish before these things, because they are so useful. And in the oven it goes. The oven's nice and hot. It's all ready. And gonna go and plug that in. I took my salmon out of the fridge about 25 minutes before, so it's starting at about 51 degrees F. When it's ready, you're gonna take that out. Remember to take out the thermometer first, because that cord is still hot, and if that flails around, that could really burn you. I broke Adam and Ben's, tasted the salmon with grilled onions. The martini alcohol flavor was very subtle. Ben's could only taste an unusual sweetness. Not the alcohol at all, but he is more used to drinking hard alcohol straight. He liked a little bit of crunchiness at the edge of the fish. Brooke thought the salmon with the onion was a fantastic combination. The fish was super moist. Adam said the salmon melts in your mouth and paired well with sake to drink. And I thought it was moist and pretty okay too. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. And, and there's no talking left for <laughs> And I think I have to go shopping now. Uh, join me in a couple of weeks for beer, beef stew. If 
you have an idea for the next cooking plus alcohol recipe, please drop it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button or join me for another video right now. See you next time, and don't forget to play with your food.